Everyone's talking about the awesome Power BI external tools ribbon. Guy and a cube have showed us how to enable the tools. And last week, PowerBI.tips shared the one tool to install them all, their business ops platform. But what if we want to create our own external tool? At Discovery AI, we're on a mission to create an external tool in Biro Toolkit in Power BI for environmental analysts just like ourselves. So to get started creating external tools, you need to make sure that you have at least the July 2020 version of the Power BI desktop installed on your machine. And when you're getting started creating your own tools, it's always a good idea to have a few examples available which you can use as a guide. Some of my favorite external tools have been some of the originals, so DAX Studio, ALM Toolkit, and the amazing Tabular Editor. But we also recommend heading across to PowerBI.tips and using their business ops platform to install some of the latest tools created by the great Power BI community. We've already installed the business ops platform on our machine here. So let's go ahead and install a few cool ones, such as Steve Campbell's HotSwap, DataMarks Document Model, Eric Svensson's Excel Connector, and David Eldersvel's OpenPython and the PowerBI.tips theme gallery. So we've just had to restart our Power BI desktop again, and now you can see that these tools have been added to our external tools ribbon. But how exactly did they get there? And where are these tools stored on our machine? So the external tools are hidden away in our program files, and they're stored under the common files, Microsoft Shared, Power BI Desktop, External Tools, and here you can see a series of JSON files which all represent these external tools in our ribbon. Now that we've enabled external tools and we have some templates here, the next step is to take a look at the structure of the JSON file. Opening up Power BI.tips theme tool, you can see here that it's a standard JSON file format, and it doesn't look to have too much information. You can see that there's some standard fields like version, name, description, the path, arguments, and icon data. In this external tool, which is pretty simple, all it does is open up Google Chrome and passes a web URL to the theme gallery on PowerBI.tips. So this looks like a great template to get started. So I'm going to make a copy of this and start building out our Enviro toolkit. Let's start by updating the name to Discovery AI Enviro Tools and give it a short description. So we can let people know to check out Discovery Eye's environmental toolkit, but it's also coming soon because this is definitely a work in progress. For our external tool, in the first version, we're simply going to open up a website at this stage. So nothing fancy here. Let's leave the executable as Google Chrome and just change the argument to point to our website. Now the last thing we have to do is add in an icon. But what exactly are we looking at here? You'll notice a clue here where it tells us that it's Base64. If you're not familiar with image processing, Base64 is basically just a binary to text encoder. Here you can see we've got our PNG icon for our external tool. And we can simply upload it into an online converter, such as Base64 image, to convert it into a Base64 string. So let's copy this string across and paste it in our JSON file. This all looks really good now, so let's add it into our external tools folder. But one last trick is that Power BI displays the order of the external tools based on alphabetical sort order. So let's make sure that we name our external tool so it sits at the top of that list. Now for the magic, let's open up Power BI Desktop. And here you can see our tool in action. Here's our environmental toolkit and clicking on it, we launch our Discovery AI website. And so there you have it. We built the framework for starting our own external tool. And while it doesn't do much at this stage, we're hoping to create a really cool toolkit for environmental analysts just like ourselves. If anyone out there in this community has any great ideas or would like to collaborate on developing some environmental external tools, please let us know, as we'd love to hear about them. 
So we hope you have fun creating your own awesome tools now, and we can't wait to see what the Power BI community comes up with.